<clears throat> any of you guys or girls that are getting into third molar surgeries, um, this is another thing that I've came across that has just totally changed my world. Um, I've talked about in other videos, I guess, is the ISO dry or the ISO light um, or ISO back. I think they have another uh, thing too. And if you're watching this in like the year 2030, there might be a whole bunch of other way cooler things. But right now, 2022, this is kind of the best thing I've found. Now, this is actually modified. So normally there's like a buckle segment kind of swoops out, comes around here, and it retracts the patient's cheek. Um, this is hooked up to a high volume suction. It's a proprietary system, so you have to buy the hookups for your high volume. But I use this for everything. Like I use it for operative, not endo obviously, because we use downs for that, but um, crown and bridge, all that kind of stuff. It just, it's great for isolation. It helps to suction. That's what these little holes are for. And um, it also gives the patient a bite block here that they can rest their teeth on. So um, definitely when I'm doing lower third molars, that's where this has really changed the game for me. And what I do with this is I cut it off right here. So this little isthmus um, and I take off that buccal segment. So what that allows then is you get freer, I guess, mobility of the buccal portion. So like the cheek can stretch out more, um, but this helps to retract the tongue. It doubles as an oral pharyngeal screen so that you're not going to lose anything down the patient's throat or you know into the airway. And it suctions, of course, right? So when you're using your handpiece, you've got an assistant who's suctioning also, but this picks up anything that they might miss or any overflow, um, which is super good too. And, and certainly like bleeding and stuff as well, right? That kind of catches this so the patient isn't swallowing as much um, blood as you're working. Now, Looking at this, how you put it in, essentially we've got our patient. You have to imagine that our patient has a tongue. <laughs> they don't have a tongue here in this case. But you just put it in just like your you know, regular bite block and have the patient close down on it. You can trim this up and there's all different sizes. But essentially what happens is you can see it's a very nice barrier, right? And if we look back here now into the third molar region, we still have great access to make that distal buccal releasing incision. You can reflect that tissue, get your flap open, access everything back there. All the while, you're not fighting the tongue. You don't have a big, you know, sweetheart retractor hanging out or something like that that can kind of be dislodged or moved around incidentally when you're working. Um, it's just a great, great tool. So give this a shot. Uh, if you have it in your practice already and you've never modified it like this, try it out. Um, one thing to note is when you're done, make sure that you run uh, a good flush through your lines because um, your isodry connectors that hook into here, certainly they get a lot more, I guess, gummed up with, with blood and coagulum. So they um, tend to lose their suction a little bit quicker if you're not cleaning them really, really well. So just a little tip there as well. So give it a shot. Um, you can pick these up. I think the company is Zyrus. That's who sells these things right now. And um, yeah, it's well worth it.